Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a specific challenge that many Angular developers encounter. Our viewer is trying to integrate Stripe elements with Angular 2, specifically focusing on creating a card element for credit card information. They want to avoid using Stripe Checkout, as there are plenty of examples available for that. Instead, they're looking for guidance on how to properly set up Stripe elements in their Angular application. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. To integrate Stripe elements with Angular 2, we first need to ensure that our component is set up correctly. Let's start by declaring Stripe in our component. Next, we will create our Angular component. In the NGINIT lifecycle hook, we will call a method to set up the Stripe card element. In the setup card method, we initialize Stripe with our test API key and create a card element. We also need to mount this element to the DOM. If you encounter an error stating that the selector applies to no DOM elements, ensure that the card element is mounted after the DOM is fully loaded. You can use Angular's afterview init lifecycle hook for this. Finally, remember that server-side rendering can affect how components are rendered. Make sure to check if the window object is defined before accessing it. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To integrate Stripe elements with Angular 2, start by including the stripe.js script in your index.html file. Then declare stripe in your typings.d.ts file. In your Stripe elements component, implement after view init and on destroy. Initialize Stripe with your API key and create a card element. Use the ng after view init lifecycle hook to mount the card element and handle changes. Don't forget to clean up in ng on destroy. In your HTML, Create a form for payment submission with a card input and error display. Style the card element in CSS for better user experience. Finally, handle form submission by creating a token with Stripe and logging the result. Make sure to manage errors appropriately. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.